Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy. As you can see, I've got a brand new outfit. Thanks to one of my supporters on Buy Me A Coffee, I was able to buy the Wood Warden's outfit that just came out. It is so cute. I'll give you a full look of it later, but I dyed it white because I didn't want the green to clash with my hair. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to continue with the main story. I've been so excited to finally like keep going and to really get into it, even though I've been playing this game for like hours upon hours at this point. I have barely scratched the surface of stuff, so I'm so excited to keep playing. And I may or may not have bought some more glamour last time, so I'll show you that outfit too while I'm at it. All right, here is the Wood Whaler's look all zoomed out. I have her wearing the skirt version instead of the pants version, but it looks so cute. And I added the little white feather on top to kind of complete the look. I think it looks so good. I really look like a warrior in the game. It's so cool. And here is the other outfit I just recently bought and made. I, they're kind of piratey looks, you know, I'm a big fan, but they also have that kind of warrior like battle look going on, which I really like. So I think it's cute. I put a little mask on, which I think is really cool. If I had like a fancy like ball gown, I would probably use the mask for it too. Kind of a masquerade look. Oh my gosh. Samsung microwave. <laughs> okay. Where's the quest? Right here? Yes. Let's get on to it. I'm so excited to have done like main quest stuff. I never do that. Hmm. Scenes like that are becoming ever more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry though. If you work hard, you'll probably be all right. Hmm. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you graze your knee, eh? That's nice. Of course, I do enjoy hearing tell of a gentleman's woes with the woman folk from time to time. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Willith, sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you've been hard at it with giants in the dark. Your every ill the adventurer, Meun, said you'd be Willith. The station master will be overjoyed when he hears the news. Well, you know, I'm very slain now that I have a cool outfit. Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Who? The girl from before! Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. I look so epic. I really look like an adventurer now. My name is Ida. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gerdania when... When... I'm sorry, we were in Gerdania when the leader of our party was killed. I know, I remember. His name was Avir, and he and I were to be... Oh, you may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you are. You see, an adventurer's adventure. And he swore that he would be like you one day. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. That's so sad. I believe that he would have succeeded had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I've thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. Oh. But when I think of the woman you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I am inspired just as Avir once was. Oh, Ida, you're so sweet. And so I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first to ask you your name. Of course. Oh, that is so sweet. Willith Leaf, I shan't forget. Thank you, Willith Leaf. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Goodbye. Adventuring can be a cruel, bleeding business. Time was, I didn't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't want aught to do with you lot, though it'd be a right pain in the <laughs> looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post, and I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be part of your lives. Aww. And that goes double for yours, Willith. <laughs> Thank you. It's very nice of you. Hey, what did you say? You want to know about the signs of the Seventh Dawn? I do. They're beginning to move in earnest, then. Listen, Willet, the Scions ain't no ordinary folk, and they, and the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attending some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. I think I need to. That's where I go next. So you want to know more then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear I paint certain death on one door and limitless wealth on another. Nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first, and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being olden. <laughs> anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these Scions of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who've made it their mission to solve some of Eorzea's most pressing problems. 
Of course, that ain't no small task, and so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Willith. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where you to find the Scions, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Eorzea's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in western Thanlin. The place you're looking for is called the Waken Sands. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a woman in demand, Willith, and the days ahead promise to be busy, but I hope you won't forget about them as help- them as helped you- oh, oh, uh, uh, okay, hold on, what? You won't forget about them as helped make you into the adventure you are. Drop in and tell them how you're fan from time to time, you right? You hear? Oh my gosh. Right, well, I've said my piece. Off you go. Of course, Momodi, thank you! Now, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, we're finally gonna get to learn something, hopefully. Now, how do I get to Vesper Bay? Oh, I've been this way before. Yes. Don't I look like a real adventure in my outfit? I love it so much. Thank you to the person who let me buy it. <laughs> it was so cute. I thought about buying some emotes too, but maybe I'll do that before the next meetup so I can show them all off. Ah, uh, yes. Where I got my glamour quest. I'm back. Okay, I know we're doing the main quest, but we ought to just see what this is. Oh, that person's a gambler and they've got a big glowing sword. Okay, Nedrick, what do you want? Hail adventure, you are the expression of one who seeks new battlegrounds to hone your burgeoning skills. Do not ask how Nedrick knows, he simply knows. Now tell me, are you perchance familiar with the sunken temple of Karn? I will not hold it against you if you are not. The ruins only surfaced when the calamity split the ground asunder, after all. Any road, it's a popular destination these days for adventurers looking for new frontiers to explore. If you're keen to join them, why not make your, the journey to southern Thanalan and visit the temple for yourself? What with the many dangers that lurk within, the immortal flames are keeping close watch over the place, but a Lalafell by the name of Bibimu should be able to offer you passage. Okay, so now I just have like a... Okay, I guess I can do that. So this is where the Scions are. In here. The Waking Sands. Tataru, will you let me in? Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. I wish I knew what song that was, so I would know how to sing it for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to embarrass you. I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now, please be advised that this is private property. Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to... I do. Mamodi told me to come here and meet the Scions. Here at the behest of Eden, Papalimo. My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? Mm hmm. I like your purple eyes. Willith Leaf, Willith Leaf. Ah, uh, here you are. Thanks. Ahem. I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. Cool. The antecedent... Wait, I don't know what that means. Is within the solar... Oh. I see. Down the stairs, into the secret society. Maybe? Yes. Hello? Let me in, please. I like your hats. I guess it's a it's a group hat. I take it you're a will leaf. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Menphilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. Lady Manphilia. Ooh, oh, your outfit's so slay. So you're the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Oh my gosh, speaking parts. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Hi. Your top doesn't match your pants. Coming. Cool. It makes me feel special. Look at all these people. I like your hair too. Please. Be at ease. You are among friends here. I mean, I don't know you. I wouldn't consider us friends yet, but I am wearing white. I kind of match the vibe. No doubt you are right to burst with questions, but have patience. All will be revealed in time. Okay. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. Slay. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Honestly, I'm not really listening. Among I'm looking at my outfit. Because it looks really good in this cutscene. As the primals. Okay. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea. Nay, 
the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I see. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. <laughs> this talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? How do you know about that? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space? A mind without a body? Who told you that? <laughs> All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. Oh. The echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. That's crazy. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. Oh, wow. For another blessing, the echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. Hmm. In short... The Echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. Thank you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. Can you do it too? That's right. <laughs> I too possess the Echo. Good to know. With that established, let us return to the subject of the primals. Mm -hmm. so that man's feet are exist, out. The realm cannot take so much so that, as a single step towards true peace. Mm. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Mm. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. Okay. I know not what it is you desire for yourself. Just some cool outfits. what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. A but comment. But I firmly believe that the <laughs> we possess was given to us for a purpose. I see. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. I guess I will. Oh, now I have to voice her. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and at a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. I've seen a lot of comments about them, so it'll be cool to finally see what they're all about. Hello. The papers you requested, my lady. Hello. What are the papers? What do they say? Okay. Thank you, Tataru. Pleasure is mine, my lady. Oh, that's nice. She's friendly. By way of welcoming gift, I've taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. I see. Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the full extent of your talents. Okay, I think I can do that. A mutually beneficial relationship, I am sure you will agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. I mean, I, I'm probably going to say yes. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. That's crazy, you trust me. It's Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. That's crazy! Okay, hiring a retainer. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to carry out such tasks as storing excess skill and gear or selling unwanted items on the markets. They must be sent afield on ventures. 
A contract of service can be drafted by Ferdwib in Limsa Limsa, Parnell in Gardenia, Chachabi in Olda, Brunilla in Ishgard. I've never been to Ishgard or Kazashi in Kugain. I've never been to either of those. I should probably... I mean, I guess I can do the one here, but I'd like to do Gardenia because that's my hometown, man. Oh, pardon. Let me walk closer to you to get my quest. Oh, Wild Rose by any other name. <laughs> we Scions have but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Willith. Um, what will I say? I will go wither the wild rose blooms. Yours is no small endeavor. The dangers are great. Well, yours is no small endeavor. Small? No. Worthy? Undeniably. We labor for the good of all the realm. That's true. Oh, so I guess I need to say the first one. <laughs> I just didn't know that. Take it, you will help us. Yeah, it's kind of the only thing I can do in this quest. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. You're welcome. But I really want to color coordinate your outfit your so badly. Okay. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? No, but should it? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. Mm -hmm. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Mm. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Ooh. Those same brave souls stand before you now. Oh, really? The masked woman is Ida, and beside her mm -hmm. is Papa Limo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelves Wood. Hi. Hello there. Oh my gosh, I forgot their voices. Welcome. We're friends. We already know each other. I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. Thancred? Okay. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Hmm. Welcome to the team. Oh, who voices you? Your voice is if so. I may. The lovely maiden beside me, <gasps> Yastola. I know you. Linsa You're you play. Has the pleasure of being under her care. You play Percy in the show. Greetings. I just recently watched the show he's in, Last or I am watching it. Is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Okay. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Mm -hmm. The words of a dear friend. You also sound familiar. Who are you? At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. Mm -hmm. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Mm-hmm. Hi, girly. to make your acquaintance. Hi. In time. I hope you will come to think of us as family. Oh, we're a family but here. Without further ado, mm -hmm. I would assign you your first task. Let's go. Orianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. Who are you? Your voice is so familiar. 
We have received a request for aid from the immortal flames. <gasps> he voices Fenris in Dragon Age 2. Thank you. Would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. That is so Some Percy. Ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. Mhm. Mm but there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Mm -hmm. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. That's crazy. However, That's a lot of crime here. This time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Mm -hmm. Didn't I fight a primal before, uh, in the beginning? The evidence left behind implicates the Emolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. Mm. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. Ooh, I'm playing detective. You have my thanks. <laughs> if there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Mm -hmm. Ever at your service, fair lady. He. <laughs> Squad, Thancred leaning up against the wall like that. Let's talk. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Yeah, I really wasn't listening because I was trying to figure out which voice actors I recognized. <laughs> Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on their caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern have doubled security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abduction should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit, and see that he gives us his full cooperation. Okay, bye! I guess I'll go as well. Drybone just makes me think of actual drybones from Mario Kart, and the noise he makes in Mario Party when it's his turn. Just like a bunch of rattling bones. Tataru! Is that how they said it? I want to say it the way the voice actors say it, but sometimes I forget. Alright, let's map it. Where do I go? Or I could do that other quest I was trying to do, at the Sunken Temple. I, that's a, um, a, what's it called? I'm not attuned to that. Have I never even been over here? Okay. I'm not attuned to that too? What the heck? Where am I? If I can now get a retainer, I'm, I don't know where. I'm assuming in like a main area at, near the shops or something I can get a retainer. But at this point in the story, do I need a retainer yet? Like I don't really, I don't really have that much going on to make me feel like I need one. I mean, I'm sure they're beneficial, but I don't know enough about them to be like, yeah, I need a retainer. So let me know <laughs> if you think I should get one or not. If it would even be helpful at this point. Big turtle. I like turtles. Oh my gosh, that's so old. That's such an old meme. Oh, I need to go this way. I'm just gonna stay on the path. And and try and not get involved in this fate. <laughs> I like the desert vibe. My outfit's not really deserty, but I don't really have a desert outfit. I'm just an adventurer, what can I say? But you shouldn't wear white in a desert. I feel like the sand would just make it all gritty and, like, change the color. Obviously, I don't have that problem to worry about here. <laughs> Ta-da! Another town! Quick, let me attune to your etherite. Please! I am seeing quite a few people. People in the comments said that because there are things going on that would invite older players to return and just to do some more upkeep and stuff. So, 
It's exciting to see people all around the world. I want to see what this quest is, but maybe I should just do what I was going to do. I need to go this way. Stick to the plan or something. Ooh, giant ant. Oh, there's even more giant ones. That that was a baby. There's the big guys. I'll better steer clear of them. I don't want to fight the big toads. Don't attack me. Oh, wait, I can sprint. Why have I not been doing this? Another new place. There are so many quests here. So many quests. It definitely looks like I'll be doing some side questing off screen here. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Ooh, I like that there's like an upper path and a lower path. Definitely cool. Hello, everyone. Let me attune to your eighth right, please. I made it. Now tell me what's going on. Aye, aye, Mason Bard. Here to search for the missing folk, I take it? Minfilia sent word that an adventurer fitting your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary of the Amalja. It seems we know who the culprits are at the very least. Now I bear no official title at this camp, but the people have come to look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can to help see the victims safely returned. Let us get right to it then. Minfilius names the Amalji culprits in all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied on these lands by the Amalja hands. The flames burn where they might, but their light cannot stay the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders of callers at the church of St. Adama Landama, innocents wishing no more than to pay respects to the dead. Four souls deserved a proper burial. I went to see the deed before the mongrels catch their scent, but I know not if the Amalja still linger. Where do you secure their remains from me, my friend? You will find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing. You may even come to learn something of where the Amalja seek in this area. That's true. I will do that for you. Ooh. Those are like goats on steroids. Goat mixed with a buffalo. Oh, they're so cute! A furble! It's so cute! I don't want to kill it! It's adorable! My gosh, even like the storm physics and the rain physics, like it's so good. Like, obviously it's a video game, it's not going to be perfect, but I just think it looks great. And the sound quality of the rain is really good. I just like it. Such a fan of rain in real life. Like, I love rainy days. So... It being raining in Final Fantasy, also very good. For some reason, this image, like this wall here, like built-in statue, is giving Naruto vibes. All right, I think this is where I'm gonna end this episode. Isn't it cool to see this when it's raining? But even though it was kind of short, we're finally picking up on the story, kind of-ish. It's hard to tell like what's actually gonna be related to the grander story and what's just a side quest, but I'm still having so much fun. I'm also gonna do a bit more side questing off screen just to do some side quests because I've never been to these areas before, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.